Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. But it's not really morning. It's like 3 4 p.m. o'clock. Um, it's actually 3.50 p.m. in the afternoon. I just I just woke up. Um, you guys know that I worked last night. So, um, oh crap, I woke up late. Like, I literally woke up late. I was supposed to go into Starbucks at 2 p.m. And I had like 500 alarms. Like, literally 500 alarms. So, 12, 12, 15, 12, 30, 12, 45, 1 p.m., 1 15, 1 30 p.m. alarms in order to wake up on time to go to work at 2 p.m. to Starbucks. And unfortunately, I woke up at 3 15 p.m. I was like, what? No! Ah, have you guys ever had those moments where you're, oh crap, uh, I was supposed to be there already. That that just happened. So, um, I'm heading into work. I just, I didn't even call. I just text, hey, I'm on my way, blah, blah, blah. So, sorry. Because um, I, I hate to hear people tell me, hey, you're late. Kind of the even though I'm probably going to hear it when I get to work. But I'm heading there now. Let's go ahead and see what crazy and stuff I'll tell you guys later. Hey guys, what's up? So guess what? Today I actually realized that I don't know how to dress myself. And I apparently didn't even look at a mirror before leaving the house. Because white, white, and khakis do not match at all. I look like, I don't even know what I look like. I just know that it doesn't look good. And black shoes. Look what I'm wearing. Black shoes and white shirt, khaki pants. Terrible choice of dress code. Um, so basically today I went to work at Starbucks, which is actually pretty cool. Actually, I got to work with the, the main manager, like the main, main boss. Um, it's always weird having to work with a person who like actually signs your paycheck and stuff like that. Well, I mean, it's not her that signs my paycheck. I mean, she signs in my, ro my payroll and stuff like that, so I guess she signs my paychecks. I don't know. But it was pretty cool. It was pretty weird. And it was so... We did so much more in closing procedures and stuff like that. And it was so much more... So much less stressful. Like... It's serious. All right, so let's stop talking about that. On the other hand, Oscar got a Twitter, so go follow him on Twitter. I actually don't know what his Twitter is yet, but it'll be down in the description box. You guys can go check him out. He's pretty cool. I told him I've been telling him to get a Twitter forever because I think a lot of things that he says throughout the day, it'd be something that he could be tweet, and it'd be cool to hear, you know, kind of read, cool to read, blah, 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 whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. So, um... That happened today. I'm at the whole right, hotel, whole, 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 hotel right now. And as you guys know, in the next 12 hours or so, I'll be on the road heading to Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I was asking some people where I can like s a snowboard and stuff like that because apparently over in Gallensburg where I wanted to go, the, f the mountains aren't open yet for that. So uh, somebody, my boss actually told me, she's like, well, why don't you check out Pigeon Forge? Pigeon Forge. So I'm going to do that. Um, other than that, that's nothing Nothing else happened today, so let's go ahead and go straight into 101 secrets for your 20s. Oh, you know, it's another thing that's not good for wearing white. Um, a dark skin, well, not dark skin, like tan skin or dark skin and white don't go very well together because the camera's always going to expose for the white, and it kind of sucks because it make me dark. Grr. So, um, let's go ahead. Yesterday, we did five, the first five of 22 signs you're having a quarter-life crisis. Number six, you're having... Arguments your mom again about cleaning your bathroom and being home on a reasonable hour Why don't you actually live with my mom? We take care of that problem like five years ago where I moved out and decided to move to Orlando So yeah, number seven your monthly routine of expense being greater than your income is dawning on you as a serious problem Um, I actually used to have that problem um, where I used to have bigger bills than what I'm actual monthly income was I took care of that I got two jobs life Number eight, you're having an argument with your newly cemented spouse and or roommates that sounds awfully like the arguments your parents used to have that you swore you never have, yet you are having. So, um, yeah, me and my roommate, Oscar, we never, like, argue and stuff like that. I mean, we've been friends, like, forever since, like, day, I don't know, day, day one. <laughs> day one. I mean, my, my mom and her mom, his mom, my mom and his mom used to be, like, best friends and stuff like that. So... We were kind of like destined to be best friends. All right, number nine. You... Whoops. Whoops. You moved six times in the last four years. I have not luckily moved at all in the last four years. Um, Before when I used to live with my mom, I used to move. I would never be in one place for more than a year. It means it's, it's life. B. 
B of part 9. I don't know where that this is going. Alright, B of part 9. You have 6 jobs in the last 4 years. I have not had... Uh, I have not had 6 jobs in the last 4 years. You had a 6 boyfriends or girlfriends in the last 4 years. <laughs> I haven't even had one. Um... You've had no boyfriends or girlfriends in the last six years, and you're scared your boyfriend or girlfriend is broken. Friending. You're scared your boyfriending or girlfriending is broken. Uh, it's just for lack of trying, basically. Ten. You pay top dollars for a moment of clarity. You pay top So, like, basically meaning, like, paying money to get some clarity? No, I don't do that at all. So, I don't know what where this topics the quarter life crisis one um so i'm not i guess this means i'm not having a quarter life crisis that means i'm still perfectly okay yay all right guys thank you guys so much for watching today today was um why do you guys keep falling stop falling thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow nashville Yes, and today was the last work day, last double shift before going to Nashville, Tennessee. I'm literally right now actually in Nashville, Tennessee, and it's going to be amazing. Tomorrow, I hope to, hopefully, hope to meet Olin Rogers at the Soto Parlor, so that's going to be pretty awesome. Guys, make sure to check, my, check out my previous vlog, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and all that awesome stuff down below. Awesome. Thank you guys so much.